It's five commentary breakdowns here. Who is this? It's Tsilala, our favorite Taiwanese Wing Chun guy. And look, he's testing himself again. So our that guy fighting him is very likely trained in Taekwondo, karate maybe, but I'm just thinking Taekwondo. I was talking with Silala about this after the fight. Just looking at the way he's bouncing on his feet, the balls of his feet, and the way he's kind of switching southpaw orthodox and all that. Oh, Silala with that. That was amazing. Why by way, outside crescent kick. Very kung fu based. So, it looks like it's a point-based system. So, this is Chilala's full name. He's very Taiwanese. Most Taiwanese people who are obsessed with Japanese culture, they will have a, ta they'll have a Japanese name. And if you guys watched the original video, the hosts, the actual commentators are super nyang. Nyang means like super feminine, how they talk. It's a very Taiwanese thing. Trying to be all cutesy, the guys. The girls too. The girls are very dia. Dia is kind of like um um like talking like little girls. So it's a Taiwanese culture thing. I always joke, how are you gonna stand up to mainland communist China if you're gonna act like little girls? But maybe that's their that's their art of war, Sun Tzu, right? We appear like little kids, but we actually can kick ass. I mean, I think Silala can kick anybody's butt, any Wing Chun person's butt in China. Okay, so Ch oh sacrifice throw. I think Chilala was trying to go for a submission too. Oh, be careful. He almost got caught in an arm bar. Oh, she's not, I like that. Your advantage is striking, so I'm not going to dilly-dally on the ground. I'm not a ground fighter. Dude, I love this. So, it's even if you look at the points down there. Three versus three. So, oh, great front kick. Good job, Chilala. So, look at that. He's always going in, right? He, he's always going into, in, into the range of the strike, so he's... He's bypassing the striking range, going into trapping range, like he, he's learning. So, I don't know how the points work. Why did his opponent get... What? How did his opponent get more points? Well, wait, I'm, I might be wrong, guys. No, um, Tsilala's the blue. He, this is Tsilala's name. All Their names all look the same. So, Tsilala's now on the ground. Got him in... Okay, he's got his hooks in. I don't know why they stopped that. Uh, oh, they're like, okay, all right, you try. His opponent knows how to turn into him. Not bad. Uh, yeah, so Chilala is in the lead. Chen Zhi Huang, is it Chen Zhi Huang? Chilala, correct me if I said your name wrong. Chen Zhi Huang or Chen Zhi Huang. So, they got stood up again. 43 seconds left in the match. Chilala is in... The lead, look at him. It's 3 to 11. Oh! Then his point just gave us back. Okay, that's a few points for you. Dude, the, the point system is so arbitrary, man. I don't get it. Can someone please explain the point system to me? Chilala's been, he's got some takedowns and stuff like that. He's got basic ground fighting. He's legit, man. Good job, Chilala. Oh, another punch to the face. Oh, right in the face. I'm so confused, man. Why, if it is the case that Chilala's actually, um, he's actually the one whose name is Yang, why is that marked in red? Because he's wearing the blue. I, I just don't get it. It doesn't matter. I mean, we obviously know Chilala has dominated this fight, so he better have the win, right? Let's see. He better have the win. Give us who won. Give us who won. So these are some highlights. Look at the sacrifice throw. And then he, he went in, tried to maybe get an arm bar from the sacrifice throw. What? What? Wait a minute. Where's he won? We will just rewatch some of the cool parts of it. So that was a great moment. Why by Twihi? 
freaking socked him, right? He outside crescent and kicked him in the face. But why did why did his opponent get the point? Maybe his opponent hit him in the face first? I am so confused, man. How did that happen? So his opponent hit him in the body and then hit him again, but he blocked most of that. He launched an outside crescent kick. I love this kick because that's where the force is going. You're kicking that way. So get some well why did why did his opponent get the point? I'm so confused, guys. I am so confused, but 62 kilograms, that's about 140, 150 pounds. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Why they give a friend why they give a point to that guy? Dude, that's freak so it, I I don't know, it doesn't matter. So shall I throw in a high kick right there? Shall I look at that? He he's bracing for his wing chung. Look at this guy, this guy like, what did I get myself into? I don't know what kind of accent that was. I could do an accent like this again. I didn't like this accent. Maybe I should do this accent to make fun of the Taiwanese people. It's <laughs> always distracting with the arms, gauging distance, right? It's a different, it's not really a jab. That was a great block, by the way. Gotta give credit to that. Look at that great parry. Great parry, man. Look at that great parry right here. Just classic. You learn this in kickboxing. You learn this in Muay Thai. You learn this in Wing Chun. You learn this in Kung Fu. So, great parry. We got to get to the part, the sacrifice throw. So, one thing I noticed, the problem with this opponent's stance is he, it's very easy to take his back. I just realized this. Look at this. Half the time, if Chilala was thinking more grappling, he could take him the guy's back every time he kicks because he's standing so sideways, he almost gives up his back. I just noticed that. See, look at that. Look at that. You see? The grappler would have gone in, man. Double underhooks. So, so I ate a, this was a great part, so let's watch this in slow motion. She like goes, boom, takes him, and then he's like, oh, I got to do a submission, can't just, and then his opponent tries for a ghetto arm bar, he's not going to get it from here, he's already stacked, you see, he's already stacked, he's got no leverage, he's like this, you want to be like this, he's all the way like this, he's not going to get the arm bar, so I was like, okay, whatever. So that's how the point system works. Look at that. I think those are advantages and penalties, I believe. Dude, this system's complicated. Look at that. advantages and penalties and then the total points. I believe that's what it is. I could be wrong. So it's out again. Keeping with the gauge distance with the jab. Again, good parry. This opponent, man. No more fighting him. By the way, if you guys notice, feet and hands are wrapped. Much safer. So... Great little block by Chilala. Chilala throwing push kick. Look at that. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's the problem with standing too sideways. Oh! So, this is where Chilala starts taking the lead. I think Chilala has him figured out. Chilala's like, yeah, you know, every time he kicks, I'll just go in. Because the guy can't really punch to save his life. So look at that. Great. See, that was the Wing Chun technique right there. Slapping the hand out of the way. A little pock out of the way. So, I was like, oh, you want to grapple with me? He might even try to, maybe he's trying to throw a little bit. Got to control the head or control the arm. Armpit, that is. Stick one of your, the crook of your elbows under his armpit. So this guy's trying to throw him down. So I was like, nope. I, you ain't gonna throw me down. Um, Shala, get your hook in, man. Get your hook in. So he now he does get his hook in, but hmm, yeah. Anyways, guys, I mean Shalala won this fight, man. What what do you expect? Good on Shalala, and I love this point. They're like the referee's like, okay, uh. Stay on the ground. No getting up. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to put my hand in. And then. I don't know what happened there. He, he didn't even try to go for the choke or anything. He doesn't have any leverage here. 
I don't know what, what this was. It isn't, there's too much space here. So, I don't know, maybe Chilala hasn't practiced his chokes, but not faulting you, man. Choking's hard, even a guy like me who's talking this and trying to talk about chokes. When I choke people, sometimes I feel like, where's my leverage? Anyways, I mean, Chilala won, even though they didn't announce the winner. Guys, go follow this person. Go follow them, I will link them below, okay? Hope you enjoyed this analysis, hope you enjoyed the drawing on the stuff. Somebody asked me what it was. It's called Demo Pro. The software I use called Demo Pro. So you can download that on App Store. All right, guys. Fight commentary. Break down. Out.